hello and welcome to a very Italian scenario. I am currently in the Italian countryside. Oh. Yeah, they were very pretty. <laughs> There's a smart Change car. the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're changing the sat nav direction. <laughs> you are so easily distracted. I'm with my friend Benny, who a lot of you may know. Um, who's also got a YouTube channel, there's a lot on Instagram as well, and all will be linked down below. And we are currently in the Italian countryside near Bologna, the home of Lamborghini, driving the latest Hurricane, the Lamborghini Hurricane RWD Spider Evo. Oh god, it's so confusing. The Lamborghini Hurricane Evo RWD Spider. Yeah, that's about everything. Right. So effectively, it's the Evo version of the Hurricane, so the facelifted, updated, modernized version of the Lamborghini Hurricane. RWD signifies rear wheel drive, as the name indicates, is rear wheel drive rather than the usual four wheel drive system. And obviously, with the endless headroom above me, it is a spider. And we were very kindly invited over, so the two of us had a little road trip here which is going to be my French vlog channel. And we literally just picked this car up, which is in a beautiful matte orange paint color with a full Alcantara leather and forged carbon interior. As you can see from, for example, these massive forged carbon paddles behind me. And what a car. From having driven it for the last like five minutes, uh, five, 10 minutes, it's quite an experience. I mean, obviously it's a Lamborghini, so it's very shouty, screamy, but it's also very complete. Pretty hard suspension, as you can maybe hear and see right now as we're going over some really rough Italian roads. And I thought we would just like bring this back to basics, have kind of as much of a one take kind of video as possible, because I want it to be kind of all. Oh, you can start to hear the pops, as natural of a video as possible. We're gonna take it to some tight little twisty roads, but before we do that and we really like open it up and hear it screaming, let's just talk quickly about what it's like when you just hop in and get into it. First of all, it's very easy to drive. Double clutch gearbox, so you can leave it in auto if you like, or you can click this button down here, which puts the car into manual, and then everything's controlled through this these paddles, which allow you to communicate your way through the double clutch gearbox, which is just the greatest thing that's happened to a Lambo in a long time, is this gearbox. I'm currently in sport mode, because we're driving through town. Uh, Strada, which is kind of like comfort, is a little bit too tamed and Corsa is just like strapping a bull up your bum. So we're not going to do that right now. We'll do that a bit later. Oh, the sound. So, oh. Yeah, the pops, the pops are crazy. <laughs> as soon as you lift off. So they really kind of brought the character into this car. It's not because oh, it's, it's double clutched or modernized that they, they kind of like subdued the Lamborghini-ness Lamborghini of the car. Now the Evo is obviously it's a lot so more loud. modern. It's so loud, yeah. it really is. For a stock car, I mean, how much longer are we going to have stock cars where the stock exhaust sounds this good? It's oh. insane. And the gearbox, like, Usually in a car, well at least in like a single clutch oh, car, when you accelerate and then you pull one of these paddles, there's a brake. You feel like the car, you know, obviously lifts off, puts the clutch and changes gear, and the, the power just kind of lifts off for a little bit, and then bang, you get slapped on the back of the head again. This, it's like the power is constant. You accelerate, but at no, at no point does it stop accelerating. It's nuts. And it really, like, oh, it's so, so cool. As I was saying, it's easy to drive when you hop in. The visibility is pretty good, but you definitely know that you're in a Lambo because it's so, like, the front windscreen is so slanted forwards. Everything is so far in front of you. You're literally sat on the ground. The windows are really thin, but really long. Everything just feels so Lamborghini-esque and so supercar-esque. In this one, we actually have the comfort seats with blue stitching to complement blue brake calipers. Fairly out there spec, and I personally love it. Um, and the comfort seats, whilst they maybe don't look quite as good as some option sports seats you can get, they're really nice and comfy. In Strada, the car's not crazy loud, it's pretty comfortable. And you can just leave it in auto and cruise. But where's the fun in that? Yeah. What we want is sport mode. Oh, oh. Auto piece, right. 
We're gonna get onto some twisties in a little bit, so we'll catch up with you then. Benny, I want you to have a go. Thank you so much. Let's I wanna get it. your reaction. I right. wanna see my reaction. Oh, though. wait, wait, there's a car coming. Run, run, run. We just stopped at a bus stop. We'll look at it. It's so sick. By the way, this is where your cup holder is. There's another one down here, but you can't put too much because this is a bit low, but it's very hidden. You need to, I was looking and I was like, what, there's, oh my God. I think it suits you really well, actually. Thank you so much, you too. Yeah, and visibility is pretty good, right? Oh, it's acceleration, oh. acceleration. <laughs> what do you think? It is unbelievable. Yeah. It's just like, it takes you from like, oh, yeah, and it's so much, yeah. I don't know, I'm speechless, I can't say anything. It's more complete than the last generation, isn't it? So much more complete. And the, the double, I don't know how you call this Double thing, clutch gearbox, yeah. Double clutch gearbox is unbelievable. Yeah. It's just like a smooth, it looks like a, a one gear all the way to like to top speed. It literally is. Oh. Oh. I think he got scared. Yeah, the current like, run was like, oh, oh my god. It's okay. You know what's really cool also is this screen, which is new on the Hurricane Evos. It wasn't on the first Hurricanes, but really, really cool. This is your home button down here. And then you can have all sorts of information on the vehicle, you know, ambient lighting, um, everything, parking assist, blah, blah, blah. But you've also got, most importantly, Apple CarPlay. So for example, now we've got the sat-nav, super accessible. So this is actually a really, really big change. And you also do all sorts of like your climate control stuff is on here somewhere, I can't find it. Okay, we've put the roof up and there's a little window back here. You can see that I can control, I can put up or down, but basically it means you can hear the noise when the roof's up. The roof is lovely. I mean, you're aware that it's a soft top, but yeah, it isolates the noise quite a lot. And if we're doing around 30, should we try around 30? It should. Yeah, here we go. I'm at okay. 40. Yeah, you're at 40, but look, it takes the roof off while we're moving. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? From outside, it must look like a transformer. And then windows go back up, and we're good to go. All right, legends. I am in Corsa mode. Look at the road in front of us. It's your classic, classic little Italian countryside road. And off we go. when Benny has to hold his cap down and things are getting serious. Oh my. Now the fact that the four-wheel drive has been removed from this car, I mean, look at this, sorry. But I am sorry. What is going on? That is stunning. This is the most Italian thing I think I've ever oh. done. You know how they, people say there's the American dream? I feel like this is the Italian dream right here. Driving a Lambo with this scenery. Anyways, I was saying about the car, the fact that the four-wheel drive has been removed, removed obviously a bit of weight from the front end, but especially just makes the car a little bit more playful and a little bit more like it wants to rip your head off. So you can't be maybe as relaxed and take as many liberties as you would with a four-wheel drive potentially because coming out of a corner, the back end of this car really wants to overtake the front. Dropping down into first. And I don't know if you can see that there, I had to correct a little bit because the back end instantly wants to start playing. But you can't accelerate too much or else you're going way above the speed limit. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad for you guys and you can hear us. Those lift off crackles. Now when you go into Corsa, as I am now, the steering weightens up a little bit. Um, it's still lighter than it was back in the day with the slightly more hardcore cars, but it is pretty communicative. And I feel that that lack of the four wheel drive system, the lack of weight round front, allows it to be a little bit more communicative. That double clutch gearbox is relentless. The brakes, once they've warmed up, are so powerful. Just in general, it is such such an animal it really feels like you know modern cars have lost that rawness that playfulness that character that the slightly more old school cars like you know my scuderia or you know older lambos and you know like the first gen super leggero things like that a lot of other cars 
have lost their character. What I feel is great with this, and I feel like, you know, what Lambo's doing with quite a few of their cars, is keeping that and kind of saying, yes, die, we realize, I know, I know, I know, but what if we just keep the character? So then, oh, yeah, did you feel it like oh. really playing around? Imagine being in front of you, just seeing this like happening. And yeah, seeing the back end like, just sliding. In that car too. Wow. Wow. What do you think? It's unbelievable. I'm speechless. It's I'm got so much. I don't think I've driven a modern car. They're like new that you can buy off the shelf now with as much character. Yeah. It's, it's alive. It really is. Oh. oh no, I love it. I really do. And the most exciting thing is this is the road drive of this car. And tomorrow we are going to Imola to drive this thing on track. And I'm gonna film that for you guys and make it a whole separate video. And we're even gonna get to go in the Super Trofeo, which is the race version of this car. It's so tempting when you go around a junction like yeah, that to I just know. slide the back end. Isn't this where we were? Ah. You've arrived. We've arrived. <laughs> We've arrived where? <laughs> okay, ah. we're gonna figure out where we are and then we'll do the outro then. Look, we're literally, we're like on the outskirts of Bologna, the home of Lamborghini, and there is no one around. We've got these beautiful empty roads for us, and the Lamborghini, I thought it was probably just before I end the video, probably time that I showed you the outside of this car. Um, it is a really cool matte orange with those blue calipers that I mentioned and those matte grey rims as well. we got Benny looking well in place there. Already. Suits you really nicely. What a beautiful car. The front end is slightly different on the Evos compared to the uh, first generation Hurricanes. And we've got this little winglet around back. And obviously the biggest change is with that exhaust system back there, which is instantly recognizable. Really, really nice. Anyways, I thought that uh, on that jolly note, we would probably end it here, seeing as we will be back in this exact car tomorrow on track. That'll be the next video on this channel and the Super Trofeo, as I said. So super exciting, huge thank you. This is what it's all about for me. This is, you know, what the love of cars is all about, being with a friend in a nice car on empty roads, Italian car in Italy. It's been a surreal day. So thank you Lamborghini, of course, but thank you you guys for your support, allowing me to do this kind of thing. I really hope the sound was okay. That much thing's better. been sounding good, yeah, much better. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you aren't already. Benny's channel will be down below, and I'll see you again very soon. <laughs> Cheers, bye-bye. <laughs>